I often think if we all lived underground and only the millionaires could travel to a place called Earth and they just dug up and they got to experience sunsets and the sea and the sand and the smells. Do you know how much money people would pay to go on those trips? Millions and millions, yet we've got it for free. But we don't have that contrast, so we can't appreciate it for what it really is and how perfect it really is. Get yourself down the sea, watch the sunset, and just be grateful that you can experience it, because so many can't. So many took their last breath today and they didn't want to, but they did. You're still here. How are you spending your time? So they guarantee on everyone's deathbed, they won't want to watch one more episode of that TV program that you're obsessed with and aren't obsessed with. They wouldn't want to go back to the office just to check those last two emails. They'd want to come here with their family, experience it, enjoy it, and take it all in just one last time. I really get myself into that zone every time I come into nature. And yes, I am pacing on the beach. <laughs> I always get myself into that zone, into that mindset. If this was my last day, how would I look at the water? Very differently than the days when I think I've got a lifetime to live. Because then the water becomes too loud. The water becomes too wet. The water is getting too close to me. The water smells funny. There's too many boats. It's too cold. <laughs> complain, complain. Whereas when we look at it with fresh eyes, with child's eyes, with imaginative eyes, with the eyes of someone who is experiencing their last day on earth, the water becomes absolutely perfect and you wouldn't change it for the world. Same is to be said with the sky. It's not too cloudy. It's not raining. It's just perfect. Same with the stones. I wouldn't exchange these stones for sand. I might do if I feel like I've got a lifetime to live first. But if I just humble myself and think, how would I feel if this was my last time at this beach? Everything becomes so much more enjoyable and beautiful and perfect. Even this massive boat. Look at it. Wow, it's a boat. <laughs> like, it's so cool. When do you ever see a boat? We talk about them all the time. When do you ever see a boat? I can see a boat. And I'll wave at the boat. Now, if I felt like I had a lifetime to live, I wouldn't wave at the boat because it's embarrassing. But if I humble myself and think, what if this was the last time I was at this beach? Of course I'm going to wave at the boat. Of course I'm going to act like a child. Of course I'm going to have more fun and enjoy myself. Ah, of course I'm going to enjoy each breath more. There it goes. Honestly, I've always done this, it's really weird. I did it once um, uh, when my dad was picking me up and I imagined it was my last day on earth and I started crying. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, it's the last time I'm gonna see my dad. But you don't need to get that into it, but just, it's very humbling. If you can't do it naturally, if you can't just sort of sit here and enjoy, really practice imagining this was your last time here. It really helps. Hear that? All those noises, all those motorbikes, all those engines. Now, if I feel like I've got a lifetime to live, you know, shut up, stop being so loud. I'm trying to relax, I can't relax. This is a shit beach. I wanna leave, I'm done. Had enough of this beach, it's terrible. Let's never come here again, it's too loud. But if this is my last time on the beach, I listen to those motorbikes and those cars and I think, 
so much life, so much energy. People are going places. I wonder what they do for a living. I wonder why they're driving like that. Have they just bought that motorbike? I want to. I want to go on a motorbike. And you just start thinking and feeling like a child, because a child doesn't think into the future. They do a bit, but like not to the extent that we do as adults at all. As adults, we're just like, oh, I can't wait to retire, and that's it. With children, they're just like, I'm going to the beach, and I'm going to have an adventure. Gosh, what a beautiful evening! Look at that boat. Off on an adventure. I hope you enjoy the sea. It's a beautiful place.